guys, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's a girl, Memory Karonga. Thank you very much. If it is your first time and if you're cold and old, welcome back. <laughs> I know I've been gone for a minute and I was promised to be consistent. Yes, in the background, I am always consistent. But then in actual reality, I am not. Um, there are factors to that. And I'm gonna get into um, into it uh, in a minute's time. You know, like I was thinking, why do I need to explain myself to people? Like I owe them nothing, but then I thought, let me take an example. What if I was probably a pastor in the church and the pastor said nothing, is gone. And then after that, the pastor just come back and start preaching. Everybody would be wondering, oh, where was the pastor? What had happened in the meantime? <laughs> Where was the pastor? Where, what happened in the meantime to the pastor? Why was he silent? And you'd want an explanation. So I just thought like, okay, fine. I know I owe you nothing, but I'm the one that invited you in my world. So I guess I owe you something. I was away because I was working. I uh, have not been home. I have been working in the fields and I've been traveling a lot. So there was no way if you're doing field work for me to even have had a chance to hold my camera and be recording. And also the other thing is to upload network was not fine. So yeah, that's why I have been not um, recording for the past month or is it two months? I think the last time I uploaded something was in June. I think so and people have been asking hey, did you quit YouTube and some of them ask did you run out of ideas <laughs> I mean <laughs> yeah that, I, that is what I've been getting because yeah I made you guys used to consistency and you are now wondering what is happening with our girl she's no more on the streets of YouTube and it's quiet in the streets of YouTube enough about rambling about that the reason why we are here today is like in the beginning of the year i have said plants and i said okay fine this is how i'm going to tackle my first quarter and then the, my second quarter and my third quarter in the first half of the year i want to achieve a b c d and i've write down my plans as they say practice what you preach and i've written down my plans like this is what i wanted to achieve in this period of time and I've been working towards that. Challenge is I'm full-time employed, eight to five. I've got other things running. I know that too much, to whom much is given, much is required. The Bible even says, and I know what I got myself into in the first place when I chose the life, life that I'm having, when I am choosing the opportunities or agreeing to the opportunities that are coming my way, I know what is required. I've been just too much into everything and it seems like I needed to prioritize not to say that YouTube was not one of the reasons or my main priorities YouTube is still a calling that God has gave to me or it is a platform that God says I should use to reach people so YouTube is a big priority but at time I've seen that there's a lot that I need to check out I don't want to get too deep or too personal with what I have been juggling with it's nothing negative though but life has just happened to me so I had to say okay fine let me prioritize um, this and for now I am seeing that YouTube I can hang on YouTube and I can take out on the other responsibilities that I have but luckily enough I'm back <laughs> I'm back again on the streets of YouTube and we are gonna move and I have got good news I've been working on a series that I'm calling life's journey and life's journey has basically been birthed from my life I've been looking back into my life thinking about my life how I grew up how life was and also hard I don't know if it makes sense but my life has been fun at the same time and has been hard also at the same time I was so innocent I didn't have problems though it was I was facing hardships of life suffering if 
my main suffering was financial scarcity we did not have food and stuff like that but i received love i was i grew up in a family where there was love i received love from my mom my dad i did not lack anything and i did not feel the sufferings that i went through but then i thought to myself what did this thing that i went through taught me as a human being and what it did it contribute to where i am today and i thought to myself if i can ask myself those questions life's journey my life's journey it started when i was born in 1989 9th december and the story has been started there it, it was written and some parts I understand some I still don't understand some make sense some still don't make sense now when I come to the parts where it does not make sense I figured that there is an older version of me like there's a lady or there's a guy that was also born maybe in the 50s that was born maybe in the 70s that was born in the 80s um, that is also born in the 90s and the 2000s that has a similar that has similar questions like I do have and that can also give me a tip of how things were in their day and how they are today they can actually tell me from experience say that life was like this and life was ABC but now today Life is the way it is because I've learned this lessons in this city. And that's where life's journey came into play for me. Where I started interviewing uh, people from the life. I've interviewed musicians. I've interviewed live activists. I've interviewed in the politician. I actually wanted to interview more people. But as I said, life is happening, guys. I am like, I'm staying at the village. And every time I get... Uh, it's either I'm busy with something even when I happen to travel I don't have enough time because I've got a lot on my plate there are a lot of varieties on my plate that I can pick and choose from so I actually don't know now which is the delicacy at this point in time yeah so and everything is as important on the platter so now for me to have finished that whole season it is not possible because the people that I want to interview, the people that I'm asking schedules are working against my schedule and all that. But I decided, okay, fine, with the episodes that I have. And I think that they will also, I'll, 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 I'll also get maybe get one or two people that I will interview. But if I don't get those one or two people that I need to interview, it's still fine. I will still continue with the ones that I have uh, interviewed. This is really for me to inspire someone next season i want us to go full force into a, a a podcast thing guys i have the equipments i have the equipment in this case in the vlog that i made i don't know if it's going to be in before this video or is it going to be after this video but if it is before this i will link it i have talked about perfection I am a girl that wants the things done the right way and if things are not happening then oof, I just don't want to give I don't want to give you guys um how should I call it I will never get a net for okay I just don't want to give you something just 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 because I want to give you quality content I want to give you things that are worth but then yeah i know i'm still growing and i have to have grace on myself so life's journey is a place where we interview people from different walks of life where we hear their stories and we hear what inspired them where they come from where they hail from what they are doing to make a difference in this life and what message they can give and that's basically it guys and it is officially the next start um from next week every tuesday you will be getting a life's journey episode your favorite artist will be there your favorite politicians will be there that i've interviewed so please 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 please
stay tuned watch out for life's journey that's the place where we speak our hearts and if you're also interested in being on life's journey please do inbox me you can find me on facebook i will leave my handles under you can find me on um, instagram and you can also email me on my email address then we can schedule for an interview with life's journey for season two um people that are in the proximity of okahanja ventuk that will be very beautiful if you guys reach out to me also for those that are also outside in i happen to travel maybe not Jorongo. most of the time times i'm in not Jorongo, we can also do a season two i can include you in a season two life's journey and you can share i hope you guys enjoy this kind of content and i hope a lot of people come through and they share their story that can insp that can be of inspiration to the next person thank you very much for watching and if you have watched that's why it means that you like the content please do not forget to like subscribe and comment so thank you very much for watching up to this time i just want to say bye, -bye.